So a little closer in again, you don't see anything in the way of precipitation, but there is a little disturbance coming through that's going to trigger a few sprinkles, a few scattered showers during our New Year's evening. So sorry about that, but it's just one of those things that a little upper level disturbance. This front really isn't much of a front, but it is going to be coming through with that little disturbance coming through and that again will trigger a few showers and then those move out and then Saturday we're going to be starting off the day dry. Again, there could be a sprinkle around, but nothing of any consequence, and we probably will stay dry into the mid afternoon period. But by late afternoon, that's when the snow starts, possibly a few raindrops in Lenaway Monroe counties. But this is mostly snow and that will continue all the way through tonight. Uh, tomorrow night, the intensity is going to be picking up during the evening tomorrow night as well, and then looks like the snow will finally start breaking up by the time we get into Sunday morning with maybe a little sunshine coming out Sunday afternoon. Now here's the big stripe of snow. OK, so you can kind of see the system's overall impact here. So let's zoom in on this and talk about our snow totals. Right now I'm thinking as an average three to six inches of snow. And now when I whenever I say a range, some of you, you, you kind of tune out. You only think six inches. No, I'm not saying six inches. I'm saying three to six inches. The average is probably going to be about four to five north of I-69. We're probably talking about two to three and down to the south here. If raindrops mix in, you could maybe knock an inch or two or maybe three off of these numbers. It depends how much in the, those raindrops that takes away from the amount of moisture that then falls as snow. All right, so for your New Year's Eve, low 40s and upper 30s to the north with a few sprinkles or scattered showers developing during the evening, not early, but d during the evening developing. And then we're dry for the first two thirds of the daylight hours tomorrow. Then the snow moves in and temperatures, as you can see, are falling through the day. And then as we get into the seven day forecast, as you can see, Temperatures very cold Sunday and Monday, but then we start recovering. We need to watch out. There uh, could be a snowstorm on Thursday. I'm not saying there will be, but just the models are showing a storm that has some potential. Grant.